What's up, everybody? Today we are playing Dave the Diver. I've noticed that I don't ever look at what games are, but I like I kind of looked at the uh, the pictures that it had or whatever, and it, it looks it looks neat. It looks fun. It looks calm. Because I usually play horror games, and I wanted to play something a little different, so. So where's the sushi at? <laughs> Don't rush yourself. Have a look around. Look at this giant blue hole. I've never seen anything like this. It's not just his size. Every time you enter, I don't know why. I don't know the voice thing. Is it Cobra? It's not just the size. Every time you enter a giant blue hole, the terrain and ecology changes, which means this could be an incredible business opportunity. <laughs> what kind of business? Well, we can discuss that later. I heard he took a break from diving. How about warming up? Oh. I'll guide you from here. Go ahead and go in. <laughs> hmm. I don't have a good feeling about this. A sushi bar by the blue hole. <laughs> okay. Dive! Let's go, Dave. Nice form, ha <laughs> Alright, how about sh try stretching out a bit? <laughs> try moving to the marked area. With shift, you can move quickly. Remember that this speeds up oxygen consumption. God, that kills my throat, doing that. <clears throat> you just swim, swim faster. Out of my way, fishies. <sighs> I have to give this dude a different voice. Good. Looks like your steels are intact. Your moves are as nimble as freshwater snail. Let's now practice using the weapon you'll need in contingencies the dive knife. Try using the survival knife for a small fish. You can use the click. The click. Come here, fishies. Well done. Smooth and quick. And finally, you haven't forgotten how to use the harpoon, have you? The harpoon? Well, I haven't used one in a long time. You aim first and then... Looks like you'll need some practice. Let's try using the harpoon to catch this. Catch, let's say, three fish. Aim with right click. And fire with left click. Now try it yourself. I suck. Come here, Dory. Ooh. I want this yellow one. Ooh! I think you should get back on track in no time. Okay. Alright, come back. Come back up to the boat. I'm coming. I do be swimming though. If you die in the water, you'll... Oh, okay. okay, now that you get the hang of it. 
Let's get down to business. Dave, you love sushi, right? For sure. That soft fish meat with oily rice. Oh man, that's just the best. Aha, well listen up. I have a friend who's a sushi chef who left this who left the business for a while. He has a bit of a sharp tongue and a slight temper. But he only has one skill that I can guarantee is unmatched in the world. It is right here that I started a restaurant with my friend that sells one of a kind sushi. The sushi sold here is made from fresh caught fish in the blue hole where fish from all over the world can be found. Do you think people will just go nuts for it? Yum, I'm already craving it. <laughs> I bet. So why don't you join us in the in this awesome venture as well? What do you say? I mean, I love eating, but I don't know a thing about cooking. Nothing to worry about. The restaurant is all ready. All you need to do is dive to get the ingredients. Doesn't sound too bad, right? So I can eat as much sushi as I want? Yeah, sure. You have to pay, though. Can't wait to check it out. The sushi restaurant next to the blue hole. It was supposed to open tonight, but I'm not sure if it's ready. Let's go have a chat at the restaurant. Ha 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 space at the arrow to go to the sushi bar. To the sushi bar we go. Hey, Boncho. Are we all ready to open? As you can see, it's not just, it's ready just in time. Oh, it's already finished? You? Uh, you are the fisherman cobra I was talking about. I don't know the voice to give that guy. Well, I'm more of a diver than a fisherman. Alright, anyways, it's nice to meet you. I'm, I'm Boncho. So you like sushi? I sure do. Tuna belly, eel, sea urchin. Oh boy, just thinking about it. Oh boy! <laughs> just thinking about it makes my mouth water. Hmm, just as mediocre as I expected. Sushi is a food that combines the soul of the sea and land. It symbolizes Mother Nature herself. Most people, however, have only tasted more accessible fish just like you. How empty of a life is one that ends without ever tasting the beauty of Mother Nature can offer. My calling is to bring the taste of Mother Nature to everyone. Alright, Boncho, we get it. And now we're having a tsunami. Earthquake? Mm. Mm. Okay, he, he did like. Mm. Mm. This interior is. Why do I. That's just my accent though. I can't like not make it country. Mm. This interior is really quite a mess. Mm. Yeah, it looks like we will have to delay the opening today. You know what? I spent all my money getting the restaurant ready. I'll have to recover the repair costs through doing business. Mm. In this state? Wahaha! And the end of importance of a restaurant is the taste. First we need the ingredients. Did you bring anything? Well, I have something I just caught. Mm. Only three fish! This won't be nearly enough to serve the guests. Please go and catch seven more fish first. Oh, and the restaurant is going to be open only in the evening. Mm, won't that decrease sales? You think we should invite customers without adequate preparation just to make a little more money? It's a chef's duty to prepare the best possible food with meticulous precision, just as a warrior sharpens his sword on a whetstone. You will need to get me the best quality ingredients during the day. Okay. Alright, off to the sea to get seven fishies. It seems Boncho is really passionate about his work. He may not talk about personal stuff, but this guy can talk about sushi all night. <laughs> I haven't seen Boncho so enthusiastic since the incident. It's nice to see him like this. The incident? Oops, maybe I shouldn't have brought it up. Well, anyways, we need more ingredients, so go catch seven fish first. Sounds good. Okay, it does not shoot that far, so I gotta like. Okay, I got one. Fishy. Got two fishies. Three fish. 
three fishies. Four fishies. Can I cut a fishie? Quite a few. At this rate, we'll make boatloads of money in no time. <laughs> my, my, would you look at the time? We'll have, it, have to hurry up and get things ready. Why don't you head to the sushi bar? Okay. I have number one, date, Saturday, yeah, temperature, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Wrap up your day to get things ready at Pancho Sushi. By the way, you only oh, by the way, you'll only be able to dive once in the morning and once in the afternoon. Get the ingredients ready before dinner hour starts. Okay, dokie. So we're timed? Shit. Pancho, how are the preparations coming up? Hmm. I think we're almost set. That's good. Here's to a great evening. Where do you think you're going? Didn't you hear from Cobra? You're to help me run the sushi bar from today onward. What? I I don't understand. Cobra told me that there will be somebody to help with the ingredients and serving. He said all I need to do is cook. And who else is there for that but you? Wait, I've never worked at a restaurant before. I guess we'll be here soon. I'll give you a quick primer. So pay attention. What? Open the ingredients below. It's for to check ingredients. Oh god, this is gonna be like a whole thing. Here you can check your fish, crops, sauces, and other materials you have. For now, that's all you need to know. Come back later for more information. Press C to close. Okay. Now I'll show you how to register actual items in the menu. Oh hell no. New recipes need to be added to the menu before they can be sold to customers. Sushi. There's a sushi recipe for the fish you acquired earlier, so try registering that to the menu. Okay. Yeah, we'll do... Mm. Sure. That probably wasn't hard. Bitch. Setting ingredients to auto supply will make things a bit more convenient. Mm. Let me repeat, only food on the menu can be sold. If you run out of ingredients, you will have to replace items on the menu or refill the ingredients. You can also enhance the flavor of the dishes, so try it out when you have enough ingredients. Now use the ingredients you caught to fill out the menu as much as you can. Okay. I don't. I'm not sure what I'm doing, but I'm adding things. Okay. How long are you gonna stand there talking? Give me a cup of green tea to quench my thirst. Hmm. Have, you, have you perhaps poured green tea before? No, only soft drinks, I think. I'll tell you how. Go over to Cobra. Okay, I asked for the right amount. Sometimes the customers will order drinks, so pour the green tea just right. Oh god. Customers who drink a green tea of a good or higher grade will pay more. Sweet. <laughs> As expected, Boncho's green tea is quite something. The tea really got my appetite going. Is there something to eat, perhaps? Demanding as always. Why don't you try serving him some food while you're at it? Look at him chopping away over there. Come over here. I am and take. Come over here to where I am and take his food. Okay, you can dash when serving food. You shift and move quickly. Don't forget to watch your stamina. Oh god, this is gonna be like... Holy shit, there's so much mechanics. Okay, hello? You sent the package last week, you say? 
What in the world? Let me check on that. But I have your food. Cobra didn't even eat. He's always distracted like that. The food can be reused, so we'll have to throw it out. It can't be reused. It seems like such a waste to throw it away. Macho Sushi never reuses food. We do not put our food and make for guests on the table twice. Well, alright. Hold down to discard the food. Oh, cute. Everything looks about ready. Hmm, I haven't cooked for customers in a while. Kinda nervous. Don't forget to press E after filling the menu for business to begin. You're throwing so much at me. Customers will order dishes from the menu. Don't forget to register dishes to the menu before the sushi bar opens. Oh my god. Okay, menu. We have that good, right? Yeah. Swap. No, I don't want to swap it. That's fine. Open. Okay. Sure. Yeah, we're ready. I'm sure I'm ready. Hi, welcome, welcome, welcome. Tea? Yes, 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 yes. There you go, and your tea. Wait, oh shit, are you already ready? Oh god. What do you want? What do you want? Oh shit, okay. What is this? Dish! Been here longer. it that we do fantastic close for the day Woo. I feel like this is gonna get crazy you earned artisan in flame. artisan's flame not artisan in whatever the hell that means phew work's finally done for the day my back and legs are icy we're a bit clumsy, but not bad for a first day. Try a little harder next time. Work it all. I suppose coming from you, that's a compliment. <laughs> Men should not feel gratification from simple compliments. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, all right. In any case, a toast to the opening of Bancho Sushi. We did great. Guess we need our supplies. Be careful, it's the Kraken! The, the Kraken is spanking your boat. Oh. I'm assuming I'm gonna have to fish for my fucking supplies now. Ellie. Are you the man who's been driving around here? Yeah, I think so. I was expecting more of a professional looking guy. I can hear you, you know. In any case, can you do something for me? Shouldn't you tell me who you are first? I'm Ellie. I study biology at the local gra graduate school. I've come here to investigate after reports of anomalies in the area. Satisfied? Okay, so what do you want? I'd like to study the ecology of this blue hole. Give me some agar and red starfish first. I don't think it's a good idea to ask for just one of each. Give me two of each. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Your tone. 
makes me want to refuse. Hmm, I've got a reward, but if you don't want it, then that's fine by me. A, re a reward? Well, I wasn't refusing. I'm just saying you could ask more nicely. In any case, please hurry. Don't dally. Ellie, you sound like a stinker. You can use your phone to access various types of content. You're still giving me more to do? <laughs> okay. To access various types of content, check your current mission and more. Game settings can be accessed from the phone. Oh my god. Okay. So, phone. What? Call? No, I don't want to call. I want to do. Open to do list. Prepare a bunch of sushi. Yep, we're working on that. Agar, red starfish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's get some. Let's get some fish going. Let's get her items. How do I know what this stuff is? There's a guard right here. Ah, oh, it hurts. I don't think sea urchins can be picked up with these gloves. Oh shit, that's a sea urchin. I thought it was the stuff. What is this? Orange starfish. What is this? I gotta be mindful of my oxygen too. Oh, you mother you. Okay, he doesn't like me. Or you. Come here, boy! Come here, boy! Oh my god, how many times do I have to keep shooting you or are you just a stinker? Get, 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 get back! Titan trigger fish. Holy. fish two times a day, so I want to at least get a couple of fish. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, return to the boat. I didn't get any of her items, which sucks, but that's okay. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Hmm. Hello? Dave, did you get to loosen up yesterday? Mm. Hmm, I saw a lot of nasty fish. It won't be easy to go any well. deeper. Hmm, I did notice that the fish in the blue hole have an odd violent streak. Perhaps something puts them on edge. Speaking of which, why don't you also take a gun in addition to a harpoon? A gun? I have a friend who's who's knowledgeable with guns. I'll introduce you to him. Duff. Oh god, Duff. Wow, Cobra. <laughs> wow, Cobra. <laughs> I don't know what voice to fucking give that dude. Wow, Cobra. It's been a while. Who's the goofy looking guy next to you? <clears throat> Sorry, that wasn't the nicest thing to say to a stranger. I'm Dave, a professional diver. <clears throat> Interesting. I thought divers were athletic and muscular. You seem to defy my prior knowledge. <clears throat> People who live in a glass houses. <clears throat> so, what's this about? I'd like you to get straight to the <clears throat> point. I've begun a very interesting business, haha. <laughs> and now you I'm in need of some weapons, Duff. I need your help. Hmm, season two of Strash Stella just ended anyway. I'll give you a listen. Alright, I actually discovered a fascinating giant blue hole. The terrain and eco ecology inside it changes every time you go inside. <laughs> Oddly, any equipment found inside breaks down when brought out. I'd like you to make us a weapon that can be used inside. Yeah. Hmm. This is rather interesting. You've piqued my interest as a weapons researcher, you could say. My hypothesis is that anything that's not made from materials found in the blue hole will continue to break down. 
This will be especially true of guns, which have precision parts. Hmm. So we'll have to get the materials from the sea ourselves? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dave. You'll have to prove yourself as a diver to master the duff. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure why I should have to prove myself to you. Just tell me what you need. Mm -hmm. Since it appears you have no guns at all, let's start with something easy. I think you'll need one rope and one scrap iron. Mm -hmm. You heard him right, Dave. Enter the blue hole. Bring back rope and scrap iron. Mm -hmm. By the way, if you run out of oxygen midway, you'll only be able to make it back with it with one item. Always keep that in mind. Okay. Good to know, good to know. Okay, we have one more dive in us. And we still need that lady stuff and the stuff to make a weapon. Alright. This down here. Red starfish. Wood. Cooler. I win. So. I need to make sure I keep getting a green inside because. Maybe we'll find out. Stuff to make a gun, so. Mm -hmm. Well, I think you'd actually. Oh, well, I think you'd actually manage to bring it back. I expected you to quietly, quietly expire in the depths, you could say. Great, thank you, Duff. Appreciate it, buddy. Mm -hmm. Seems I've underestimated you slightly. Very well. Mm -hmm. I'll show you how to make the basic underwater rifle with these materials. Mm -hmm. First of all, download Duff's Weapon Shop on your phone. It's well optimized. Only 42 megabytes, you could say. Got it, Duff. Craft, yes. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, get it, Duff. Yes, oh, hell yeah. <laughs> he is in the zone. Cinematic beauty. Alright, we have an underwater rifle now. Mm -hmm. 
Well, with a neat explanation like that, even someone like you should have, un have understood. Okay. Well, I, I guess. Yeah. Oh, and one more thing. Okay. I've taken some measures to allow you to open weapon chests underwater. Oh. Wow. Weapon chests? Yeah. You can bring them out of the sea, but they can still come in handy, you could say. Yeah. Oh, but I'll collect info about the weapons you pick up and create blueprints for you. Sure. Weapons made with a blueprint won't break down underwater, you could say. Yeah. In any case, this master will be watching you. Goodbye, eternity? You're a weird man, Duff, but I appreciate you. Okay, you can craft weapons at Duff's weapon shop. Acquiring a weapon a certain number of times will complete a blueprint, making the weapon craftable. Go hunting with the weapons. Okay. So let's bring this mm. day. Every day and get things ready at Bonjour Sushi. What is this? Okay. Alright. Let's go do my uh, my other job. Am I ready? Menu. Okay, no, wait, I forgot. We gotta add stuff to the menu. Enhance, what is this? Enhance. These credentials for enhance will disappear. So we use, we use three out of ten of them? Am I understanding that right? Oh, we get another sick ass. Okay. Get it. Hell yeah. You killed it, Bonjo. Alright, I'm not gonna enhance again, but I will add it to the menu. Add that to the menu. I don't have a whole lot. I need to... I really need to, like, get fish next time I go out. I'm gonna be struggling. Let's get it. <clears throat> Hello, madam. You're killing it, buddy. Enjoy the food, enjoy the food, enjoy the food. Clean, 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 clean. Oh, there's another dish. Dish! Bring out her food, get his tea on my way. Perfect because I am fantastic. What would you like to order? There you go, good sir. 
Oh, Dave, you collected 100 gold? Great job. This should be enough to repair the what's broken. Then give me some time. These repairs will need to be done right. I really hope the customers keep coming. Me too, Dave. Me too. Okay. Closed for the day. Boncho Sushi closed. Chance? I get. No. Yes, what is it, sir? Wow, I'm always right about these things. <laughs> nice to meet you. I'm Dr. Bacon. I'm an archaeologist who studies the Sea People Civilization. Mm -hmm. The Sea People Civilization? <laughs> I'll explain it to you. Aren't you lucky to have an expert like me to tell you about them? No. Um, maybe I shouldn't have asked. <laughs> I love you, Dave. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. A sea people civilization lives in legends. They are said to have uh, you. Okay. They worship fish and had gills allowing them to live underwater. Uh, they lived in the depths allowing them to flourish with any concern for invasions by other civilizations. Uh, but sudden changes to the sea pod have brought out about their abrupt downfall. Uh, That's about all it is to the story. Uh, Everyone thinks it's a myth, but nothing more, of course. Uh, the proof that they are real was found right in the vicinity of this place. Uh, oh? Uh, this is an amazing find, one that could turn the whole academic world upside down. An ancient civilization under the sea. You would only see such things in comic books or games. <laughs> what makes you so sure the, they were real? My assistant closely and analyzed an artifact found <laughs> nearby and found that there's... <laughs> Jesus, I can't speak anymore. And found that there is... Found that it is from no known civilization. Oh my gosh. Stated to around 1,500 years ago as well. There were no civilization in these parts back then. Mm -hmm. Hmm, that is interesting. But what business do you have with me? Mm -hmm. Well, you see, my assistant's cryptocurrency investments didn't pan out, and he won't be around for a good while. Mm -hmm. That's why I'd like you to help me. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. My assistant told me that the artifact was found 70 meters or so below the surface. Please go take a look. Mm -hmm. We're busy with the sushi bar. I don't think we can. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to interrupt the conversation. I'm Cobra. I work with Dave. Of course we should help you. We'll gladly do so. Yeah. <laughs> what? We don't have time to swim around searching for artifacts. Don't think about it. If an underwater civilization is discovered, countless people will flock here. Mantra Sushi will be bursting at the seams. Um, I suppose you have a point. Alright, I'll help. <laughs> Isn't that lucky? Oh, of course. I won't be asking you to work for free. I'll upgrade the diving suit you're wearing for free. Wow. With an enhanced diving suit, you'll be able to ve venture deeper. This is essentially for exploration. These days, even such things can be handled by an app. Technology, Technological advancements are amazing, eh? Let's first install the iDiver app on the phone before we proceed. New content, iDiver. The Eye Diver app allows you to enhance various diving equipment, upgrade equipment with money you make at the sushi bar and elsewhere, and explore deeper waters. Oh. Now then, let me tell you about how to use Eye Diver. Oh, I'll install the app for you, so unlock your phone first. Okay. Run Eye Diver, yep. Sweet. So now I go 80 meters. Good. Now you'll be able to venture a bit deeper. Oh. Once you have enough money, use iDiver to enhance your equipment. You can enhance your suit as well as your cargo box and your oxygen tank. Yeah, yeah. Never forget that anything can happen in deep waters. I'll be in touch! Chapter 1, Traces of the Sea People. Alright. Well. I'm gonna leave that episode here. This is, this is fun. I'm gonna enjoy this. I feel like it's gonna get a little hectic at the sushi bar, but I feel like this game's gonna be really fun to do. But um, if you guys enjoyed, drop a like, subscribe, and I hope you have a wonderful day.